basic materials. Uh, Sherwin Williams, we'll start off with that. Um, like we said last week, um, it, it basically hit the 50 and the 100. Um, it nearly touched the 100, but it closed above the 50. And since then, it's had a nice little little bull. Uh, Friday was a nasty day for the market in general. So this kind of makes sense why we had, it was a positive, but it was much more positive uh, earlier in the day and it closed off of its high. Um, below the 50% of this really short term trend. But if we look where we hit um, and the seven, eight, six of the larger term of the, where, it, where we hit, where we close above the 50, right? Which is good, right? We wanted it. I, I, I would have preferred it not to drop below, but it, it went to, I mean, nearly perfect where we predicted. So that's fine. And then it, it's above, it's, we're back in this short term. Does that make sense? So we, we kind of cleared our way from the six, the 618. We're above the 618. We got rejected at the 786, but then on the short term trend, we're still kind of more bullish. Does that make sense? If we can get above the 786, then look for us to take out the new high. We're right here. And then we'll be on target for 312 up to 316. So that's what I'm looking for this upcoming week. As long as the market just doesn't continuously just like get destroyed. But I don't I don't see too much problem with this. Uh, I, I really do like the fact because we had more of like a triple top right there. And then we broke down below it. But then we closed above it. So we got hopefully this if the buying returns like with the market, it will push this above. Uh, ECU or ECL Echo Lab. I was Thursday, basically hit target. That's nice. We were ten cents off. You know, close enough. Uh, I kind of see we we're probably come down to maybe here the the two twenty two, kind of retest this low right here. Um, let's see. Let's kind of pull out a little bit. Yeah, I mean we just broke out a high. So give it, yeah, I would say, we're, let's see if we can find some other resistance or support rather. I could see maybe right there. Yeah, because right, all right, we have, let's see how far does it go back. Okay, yeah, so the, okay. It goes back to the December, basically last year. This top line that we just we just drew, this one right here. So we can see how many how many times it's gone through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, basically ten, eleven, twelve. So I'm mean, and it's been stopping going all on this line about 12, 13 times, then we're right back at it. So if we can hold above this 225, I would say on a short term, as long as like the market doesn't just, everything just crater, we could just, this could be our, our little bounce right here because it has decent support just staying above the 220, this line right here, 225, 26. And then look for us to, to break that 231 because it's right at the high, right? It, was a, it wasn't very convincing high uh up to the 248 i'm not quite sure i'd like to first see it get above the this line right here the the 231 um 36 we can get above that then i i, I look more aggressively to the the 248 but uh if if you are aggressive right here i see that within I don't know. I, I'm not going to give it any timeline, but if we can hold this, maintain this line right here, the 225, then look for us to take out the 231.36 and hold that on the way to the 248. Scott's Miracle Grow. Yeah. Thought we could have it, but uh, no. This week was pretty just nasty. So. We broke to the downside. Uh, look for us to break the 150. Um, 
might have a quick bounce, but yeah, Scott's Miracle Grows just does not look very pretty on its way to the 146.56. Ladell Basal. Oof. I mean, this is nasty. Just look at that. Those are straight days. Um, we were at 102 to basically a 10 point drop. Uh, but look, we're double bottoming right here. We could. If we can maintain the 9181, then I'd say, I mean, if you were aggressive, you could get here for a nice little bounce up to maybe like the 96, but be careful. Cause this does like kind of does not look good at all. Um, maybe the 84. If we can't maintain the 91, 81, we're on our way to the 8406. Just keep that in mind. Um, again, if you wanted, you could play the little bounce. I don't know how far the bounce would go. Uh, the bounce could go all the way up to 96, 67, and then kind of retest see what it does up there. But if it can't hold this 9181, look for the 8406. <clears throat> Rio Tinto is, um, yeah, that looks terrible. Um, yeah, if we can't hold this 7361, then, wow, we got to draw some new lines. Looks like we'll be heading. Yeah, we got to draw a different line. Hold on, because uh, the trend is no longer. Okay. You saw what I did right there. We from this move to the to this move, right? So this down back to up. So we just draw ourselves like inverse instead of up, right? And as you'll see, it's more or less in line with what's kind of going on. Um, yeah, if for a downside target would be 65.94 if we cannot hold the 72.40. Very frustrating, but you know, that's how the game goes. Um, you see how the 100% mark on this would be the 77. 41. Now, I could be off just a little bit, but we see how it's kind of gravitating to these numbers. Um, and then also the 50 back here. Uh, okay. So, yeah, if we can't hold this 72.41, then our next target would be 61 or 65.94. Uh, kind of the same general idea with the pont how it was down trending and now we basically hit target to the downside this last week at 70 10 i would like to see what it, what can we do from here i i didn't know yeah wow the pont looks not very good at all with the target more probably down to 67 this area right here 67, 17 to 31 ish. Uh, yeah, it, mm -hmm. if it can't hold the, the 70, 10, that's target. Uh, on a short term little pop, since we broke down right here, we could come back up to the 72, 29 and then go down from there. Does that make sense? Like kind of come up to here and then come down. Dow Chemical. Mm. Um, yeah, this looks pretty pretty terrible. If we can't hold the 70 uh, or the 60, 17, um, look for a quick drop down to the 59, 77. At this point, we could get a nice little pop and then not, not quite as up higher, right? Because we've had a lot of selling days. If we can't hold the 6017, right? If we come down to this, the 5977, we could pop ourselves back up to maybe the 61. And then at that point in time, I'd like to kind of see what would happen. Uh, but if, if, let's kind of look out. Yeah, this doesn't. Whew. 
Oof. Yeah, let's do this. Um, kind of gives us a better better view on the way down. Uh, the fifty percent of that was way back at sixty three. Um, don't forget we it was a nice little pop, not an all time high, but a decent pop in in a I guess a general downtrend, uh, starting from August nineteenth. Now we're right back at those lows. Um, so again, we're at the target. From the hundred percent, if you remember, if from uh, the extension, um, with next target down to fifty nine oh four, if we cannot hold the sixty seventeen and the fifty nine seventy seven, a more general target would be fifty nine oh four. International paper. Uh, well, we got rejected, and the general market is basically hovering us down. Looks like we could have held, but, you know, Friday was general down. Um, since it tried so hard to get above, this, this kind of makes sense for us to kind of drop down, um, clear every, all the, the longs out. Uh, what will be very interesting to see is how far will they take it? Will they probably drop it below the 5772? Because then that would get everybody out from the August and then go from there. Uh, yeah, I don't really see. As long as it's within this range, it's kind of it's difficult, right? From here to here, I mean, we could draw it a little bit deeper down to the 56 right here, but this is it's the general, it's it's still the same. A while, as long as we're kind of jiggling in between, I wouldn't, it's difficult to tell because it, it look, you'll just get chopped to death because it's, it's going back and forth, right? So it was down here, bounced perfectly on the 618. Uh, broke out of the 786 and then just stalled out on the high, right? And now we're flushing back down. Let's see how deep does this flush go. Does it take us all the way back down to the 618 to the 50 or do we do we stop out right here? So until we can kind of get a general sign, I wouldn't I wouldn't really play with it. Now if we can get above this teal line and stay above the 5906, then I'd look for it to kind of come up and try to take this. But until it does that, uh, bias to the down. Mosaic. <clears throat> it kind of same thing. We're, it's kind of, in a, it's in a nasty range. I wouldn't, like you'll see, we, we attempted right here to break. We attempted right here to break. And now we broke or we kind of kissed the death right here. It looks like it. Now, again, the general market, if the general market's down, then I see this kind of trending itself down to maybe the three, two, three, eight, two, this two, three, six right here, this general area right here, and maybe transition down to the 2963. Uh, However, like I said, if the market is, is just all gas, then I, I see this coming back up and, and retesting this area right here and hopefully breaking through. BASF, um, yeah. Not doing too much of anything. Uh, going in and out and all around it, not accomplishing anything. So, yeah. We had a, a nice big buy right here on 820, for you remember. But since then, uh, nothing too much of anything.